Hello, let's talk about adding third-party content to AirSim. By now, everybody should be familiar with how the content's laid out in, in GitHub. GitHub.com, Microsoft, slash AirSim. Okay, and most folks are familiar with the, the documentation that's already there. So there's a lot there. So uh, let's go into Windows. We're going to want to build our own content, uh, as well as building the, the AirSim application. So working down the page, we get down to setting up Unreal Environment, and that's what we want to do first, set up the Unreal Environment. So click and then set up our own Unreal Environment, not the built-in blocks. So there's a step-by-step -step guide, which is really great. It takes you uh, directly through the process of setting up your own environment. It's very good. Um, just follow the instructions. And then finally, we're going to get down and uh, take a look at the Unreal Marketplace. Okay, which falls under, you know, where can we get some nice environments? The marketplace can be easily accessed directly through the uh, through the editor. Just click on the icon in the top toolbar, it takes you directly to the marketplace, and you'll see there's a lot there. Everything from environments to props, everything you need. Okay, put it in your uh, your cart, pay for it, and then it downloads directly uh, into your application. There's a lot of other third-party content out there, uh, lots of different sources. In this case, we've got TurboSquid.com. As we scroll scroll through, you'll see lots and lots of content. PolyPixel is another one that we've uh, we've used. They've got complete sets. Uh, they're very well done, very uh, very detailed. Uh, some of them can get quite high on the geometry, though. Keep an eye on the uh, on the polygons and vertices. And then finally, CG Trader is one more. Just do a search. You'll find a lot of content out there. But be careful. Uh, sizes can uh, have an impact on performance. So. Once we get our content downloaded, we're going to go ahead and into the editor and open up a new project. So for this example, let's just create a little vehicle project. And that's going to give us a vehicle and a little set that we can use. So pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and click Vehicle, then click Create Project. So we've created our project, and you can see it in the editor here. But uh, we have a lot of artifacts that show up in that default little game uh, scenario. So we're going to start deleting a bunch of this stuff, um, again, just for an example. So we've got ramps. We'll delete those. We've got a bunch of walls in here. Um, we've got some physics cubes that show up. And we're just going to get rid of those to make this uh, a little bit cleaner. So here we go. Snip, 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 delete. All right, this next step is pretty big. We're going to start importing our content here. So first off, let's make sure that we can see the content browser down in the lower uh, lower tray. All right, uh, I've created a folder, and I called that city. OK, so it's going to be important to put all of our content there. Now, once that's done, click on Import. And now we're going to uh, basically navigate to where we have all of our downloaded content, which you would have done either through third party or through Unreal uh, projects. So in this case, uh, here we go. I've got all my content here for, a, uh, for an interesting uh, downtown Manhattan scenario. Now, what I'm looking for to import is that FBX. That contains a lot of data about the scene. So importing that, I get a little submenu, Import All. All right, and so we're going to shorten this up, but there's roughly 470 some odd objects that we're going to import into the scene. All right, in this case, uh, we've generated a lot of errors and warnings uh, during the import. There's a lot of materials and just things that actually need to be co connected. Um, so I'm going to dis disregard this error for now. But uh, down in the content browser, you can see all the content. There's, uh, there, there's a lot of it for this particular scene we're importing. But what we need to do here is create a new blueprint. We need to tie all this stuff together. So you know, I'm going to go in and create an actor blueprint. Uh, you can see it down below. And I'm going to call this uh, A City uh, Blueprint, just so it shows up at the at the beginning. But that blueprint, uh, again, ties everything together. So all you have to do is uh, have one object you can drag and drop into your scene. All right. So now that we've created our blueprint, what we need to do is, is merge everything. So uh, we're going to take that blueprint you see down there into the lower left, a city blueprint that I created in the last step. Okay, I can filter just whatever you want. Okay, So this is going to bring up the blueprint uh, screen. And then I'm going to go find that blueprint, drag and drop it. Actually, I want to sort here for my meshes. All right, once I do that, uh, now I can go grab all my meshes, 
and then drag all of them into the scene. There's one. Let's grab the last one. So these are uh, all city fixtures. So drag and drop, and here we go. All right, we've got a nice little city scene. So it automatically assembled all of that based on what was in that original FBX file. All right, and we have all these under one blueprint. Okay, you can see some of the textures are a little messed up, but uh, for this exercise, I'm not going to worry about that. All right. We want to make sure we save off our blueprint, and then let's go ahead and close the window. Great. All right, so now we're back in our editor. Okay, you can see the basic scene where we had deleted some of the objects before. And in the content browser, let's scroll up a little bit, and let's go find that blueprint that we had. We can filter to make things easier. Say, deselect the meshes, and click bloop class and then uh, let's just drag and drop that blueprint into the scene so you can see the scale it looks really tiny compared to the sedan we had as the default uh, game object um, so what we're going to want to do is scale that a little bit but you can see we can move that around just with the uh, with the core um, unreal commands all right now on the right hand side under transform notice we have scale Okay, you can lock those together so we enter one value and it enters the same value for your XYZ coordinates. In this case, we're just doing it separate. Um, I know 70 is about right for this scene. So once uh, I enter 70, boom. All right, so you can see the city has actually uh, gotten a lot bigger here. Let's try to get this back a little bit if we can. And you can see the sedan is uh, is about right. So we can move it over into the center of the lane. That looks about right. Okay, so, so size-wise and scale-wise, uh, that works. So uh, with a lot of this content, you may have to uh, look at the scale and then size it accordingly. Um, content comes in all different sizes. So anyway, that's just something you need to look at. All right, for this last step, just go ahead up to the toolbar, click Play. All right, spawns, and away you go. Use your arrow keys, and uh, basically you can drive the sedan uh, around your brand new environment. Have fun. And just as a reminder, uh, github.com slash Microsoft slash AirSim contains all the information and documentation that you need uh, for building out your new instance of AirSim as well as integrating it with uh, your custom Unreal Engine environment that you've uh, just built. Thanks a lot for listening, and uh, good luck.